Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Due to the current uh, situation in China, um, our Inazawa manager, Kubota, from Mitsubishi Electrical Inazawa, could not travel to China to give the presentation to you. I'm a German, Japanese representative, uh, currently based in Shanghai, and come from Singapore. Have been working currently in at Mitsubishi Electrical Shanghai Electrical Elevated Car Operation Limited since 1908. I have uh, assigned by a company to do this presentation for all of you. I'm doing uh, assistance in designing and uh, specifying. Uh, I appreciate the lift of Shanghai Tower since 1908. I'm uh, also very familiar with the, this project. Due to the time constraints, let me back to the today's main topic. I'm uh, very pleased to have uh, take this opportunity uh, introduce the, our elevator in Shanghai Tower. This is uh, our manager. Of that uh, background. In this presentation, I would briefly like to touch three points today. In the first part, I want to represent the elevator layout for efficient vertical transportation. After that, I will talk about the three words records. Lastly, I plan to say a few words about the technical characters of the elevator, especially for super high speed and uh, super high rise. Now let's move to the first part of the, my talk, which is about elevator layout for efficient uh, vertical transportation. We will provide 107 units of the elevator in total Shanghai Tower. And uh, 87 elevator will be installed into the core. This should the service floor diagram for all elevators. There are 40 banks in total for 107 units of the elevator. The basic concept of the passengers, vertical transportation for Shanghai Tower is sky lobby are provided at each room and accessed by the sh shuttle elevator from the ground floor. And the, from the sky lobby, local elevator will be served. Shanghai Tower consists of five zones. Have a observation deck and the sky restaurant zone and the boutique office zone and the hotel zone and the office zone. Last is a skirting building. The office zone is uh, later divided into the further five sections like this. However, sky lobby are provided in the each section will be served by double deck shutter lift of a bank, three X to six X lift are provided. And the take to the sky lobby, local elevator are provided to serve each floor in each bag. This is the ground floor plan of the core. As you can see, four banks of double deck elevator, which is the three X lift to six X double deck lift, and the two banks of the local elevator, two A and two B, are located. As an example, I want would like to show you the vertical transportation. Uh, Patient flow of the first section in the office zone. This is a vertical transportation flow. is of course applied to other banks as well. Next is a hotel zone, which is located at the 84th floor to 111th floor. Low deck, double deck shuttle elevator, called AX lift, take to the 101 floor of the sky lobby. This is the vertical transportation flow of the hotel zone. This double deck shuttle elevator is one 
which has the worst fastest double deck with 10 meter per second, and the width of the travel is 470 meter. Next is a boutique office room located at the 112th floor to 111th floor. Upper deck of double deck shuttle lift AX take to the 102nd floor of the sky lobby. This is the vertical transportation method upon to the boutique office room. Next is observation deck and the sky restaurant zone located 118th floor to 120th floor. Three car of the OB leaf take to the 118th floor, which is located in the center of the main building. As you can see this slide. This is the vertical transportation method up to the observation deck. This is the one which is the world's fastest elevator with the 18 meter per second new genius record. Through the travel is 565.4 meter. Finally, let me introduce the podding building room located at basement five to fifth floor. At the skirting building from the basement five to fifth floor, 13 passenger elevators are provided and located like this, serving at the parking and the retail floor mainly. And the 10 service elevators are provided and located like this. Finally, let me introduce service elevator in this building. Four bank service elevator uh, include five main leaf elevator and uh, located in the main building. And uh, 12 high speed service elevator in total are provided in the main building. And uh, let me introduce each. Then two cars of service and the five main elevator called the uh, elevator FRFAH will serve from basement three to 121st floor and uh, total have 124 stops. And this is one which is was the longest travel of approximately is 580 meter. And the large cap capacity, 3,500 kg passenger and the goods elevator are provided and serve the low zone and the high zone. As for the convenience of the maintenance, three cars bank of the GX are provided and serve the mechanical, electrical, and the plum rooms, which are located directly under the sky lobby. And the three car of the bank of the HG is provided as a backyard for hotel and the boutique office. Right, let me come to the next part, which is the three word record. Once again, we have the three words record, which is uh, firstly is the word of fastest elevator with 18 meter per second. Secondly, the word of fastest double deck elevator with 10 meter per second. Thirdly, the world longest travel with 598.78 meter. Just for your additional information, as the world fastest double deck elevator, we also provide 10 meter per second speed double deck elevator in the office zone called the Bank 6X. But the travel height is 318 meter per seven. 318.7 meter. Now I would uh, like to take uh, you through the te technical characteristics of elevator for super high speed and uh, super high rise. 
In order to realize achieve the provide a super high speed elevator with a super high rise, we have to develop the operation and the control such as traction machine and the control panel. Secondly, is a countermeasure against the super rise such as a hoist rope and the traveling cable. Third, we achieve the comfortable ride, same as the for high-speed elevator. Fourth, to secure the ensure safety and the reliability, which is essential and the fundamental for us. Let me introduce each equipment. Applying the permanent magnet motor for such high ride high-speed elevator as well, we could achieve the reduction of the vibration noise. Also, energy saving can be achieved. This is a picture of the traction machine for the world's fastest elevator with 18 meter per second, which is the rated output is 310 kilowatt, double three-phase winding motor, and the parallel drive system with a two control panel. Approximately, the, this traction machine has 2.4 width and 2.5 depth and a two meter high approximately. For super highs, the strength of the hoist rope is one of the key issues to overcome since the weight of a hoist rope itself get increased in according with the increase of travel, the necessary safety factor might not be secure. Therefore, we have developed a cell S-flex rope to get increased intensity of the ropes to increase the strength, but at the same time try to minimize the, its weight itself. And also, this S-flex with the high intensity can reduce the rope strength due to the super high rise by approximately 25 percentage compared with the conventional ropes. And the strength and its weight issue is also applied to traveling cable as well. So we have increased the diameter of the steel cord to ensure the necessary strength. But at the same time, the light weight of the shoes is nearly applied so that we could reduce the weight of the traveling cable by approximately 20% compared compare with the conventional traveling cable. In order to make the energy stop the car and the counterweight under such high speed conditions securely and surely, firstly, the fine ceramic shoe is applied, which has high resistance against the abrasion and the thermal shock. Second, and also double safe, safety gear is applied to increase imposed load, which can be secured approximately 30 as a maximum. In order to minimize vertical shaft diamonds such as pit depth and overhead, we have applied multiple plunger buffer, see telescope buffer. So the total weight of buffer can reduce by approximately 30% shorter than the for single plunger. For such high rise building, the influence upon strong wind should be well considered as well upon the earthquake. However, the strong wind condition occurs more often than the earthquake how to maintain the service level elevator against strong wind is one of the key issues to overcome. Therefore, we have developed to apply the detection of the rope swing directed by the sensor, which is installed into the shaft. And after passenger evacuation at the nearest floor, once the rope sway is detected, but under the Stationing at the le least sympathetic vibration floor, detecting the rope swing at two times during the, a certain period. Then, if no rope swing can be detected, elevator, elevator can be resumed to the normal operation by 
this same self. In order to maintain the safe ride comfort as other high-speed elevator, active roller guide is applied. As you can see, the simulation results. This active roller can be reduced by approximately 57% of a horizontal vibration, especially for worse farthest elevator with 80 meter per second. Four active roller guide will be applied at not the button of cage, but also up side that cage we also apply. Noise in the car get increased as the rate of speed of elevator is increased in January. So in order to reduce the noise in the car, firstly, optimum streamline fairing can be applied, which is evaluated by the aerodynamic analyze. And the roller guide shoe cover is applied as well. Second, to apply construction of the high noise insulation by filling up the gap and the clearance. Efficiently arrange all 107 elevators, include the worst fastest speed and the longest travel, which demonstrates either a convenient vertical transport in such high building where dynamic traffic is expected. Traffic control, however, is not only primary challenge in the Shanghai Tower project. Safety and comfort will not be comprised. The increased enhanced technologies that ensure safe and comfortable rides were adopted to assure the best performance, even under difficult conditions such as a super high speed or a long traveling distance. So thank you for my topics.